a curse. People are going to say some things about the president. People are going to say some things about people's breath, their people's mamas and daddies. Don't get offended. It's a free speech venue, which means that they can say basically whatever they want to say. All right, please, let's give it up for Danny. When a far left liberal views the world through blue tinted glasses, Republicans all look the same. Money-grubbing dickheads taking private jets out to Klan rallies on oil rigs to cheat on their wives with high-class hookers on a bed of money and use the Constitution as a comrade. They hunt genetically modified doves with machine guns and eat baby seals roasted over endangered redwoods all while praying under their breath to Jesus Christ and Ronald Reagan. But when that always right conservative slips on his own rose-tinted glasses, Democrats all look the same too. Limp-wristed art commies holding by orgies in Barton Springs bathhouses, state-funded and staffed by illegal immigrants. They dry themselves by burning American flags and your tax dollars. They send bags of poop to the troops in Iraq and smoke spliffs in hybrids that run on flower power, all the way to Planned Parenthood, which is in league with MoveOn.org to clone Castro. And if our country was a movie theater, most of our politicians would sit in the thin wings, while the rest of us would occupy the wide stripe in the middle with the best view of the action, only we can't hear the soundtrack running under the shouting match between left and right, dueling with one-sided debates. They can't even hear their own arguments because their heads have been shoved up their asses so long that shit was now full of them. Political discussion in America is politically disgusting. The debate's been taken over by extremists. News programs populated to repeat talking points instead of stories. News stories calculated to get ratings rather than report. If I wanted to watch someone lip sync meaningless shit, I'd flip to MTV and watch Britney Spears crash the cruise ship of her life. If I want real news, I turn to John Stewart or Steve Colbert. Like, the truth has turned so tainted we can't take it without a joke to help it go down. Like, the truth is a prop and a complicated magic trick, and we're all so mesmerized by the wizard's hands, we don't notice the mirrors turning 3D scenes into 2D images. And that's what's wrong with extremists. They only see one flat side of a world in three dimensions, like someone forgot to hand them their 3D glasses. And if you want to watch the movie without getting a splitting headache, your glasses need one red lens and one blue lens. Otherwise, you can't see what's really happening, but our friends in the wings don't want us to know what's really happening. So since we, the people, are the managers of our own theater, I think it's time we ask ourselves to kick out anyone who won't stop shouting insults, drowning at the sound of the speakers we want to hear, so we can concentrate on the show and finally get some peace. Yeah!